Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my proceedings in the world of ITC. Um, you remember maybe from my last video that I showed you this device here. Um, I call now the InClip, the inverse clipper. In fact, this is a microphone I showed you in the last video where I also um, showed you another device with those, with those um, uh, vibrating relays, uh, uh, three relays mutually um, impacting each other. Um, but the core idea was this device here and I made some more experiments uh, with this type of microphone with some very good results. So um, this is my new evolution path I'm following to um, exploit all the possibilities of this little circuit here. Um, as a result of um, all those experiments I did in the last days with this InClip device, um, an idea came up um, if it could be possible to actually detect exactly where uh, psychokinetical um, manifestation takes place in an audio clip. And I had an idea for an experimental setup um, that also involves this in-clip microphone here. And the idea is very simple. You know, on your um, sound card input, um, there's a, a line or a microphone input, is always a stereo input. That means you have two channels, a left channel and a, and a right channel. Um, Normally I use this um, tied together and recording mono signals, but the idea is um, to use each channel for a different audio source. Um, to be more specific, um, one channel for the in-clip and another channel for a normal microphone. And I made myself this thing here, this is a little splitter, so I can plug in the cable from my sound card and I have uh, two jacks here um, to connect two different microphones and one is left uh, rooted to the left channel and another, the second one is uh, rooted to the right channel. Very simple. So the idea is, um, or, or let's say in other words, and I, observed, I observed that um, PK modulation um, takes place um, under certain conditions and uh, these conditions mainly are that you have a low voice volume and some noise in the background. This is actually what I found out by using the InClip. I used it in a, in a setting um, and, 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 and at a distance um, from me to the microphone um, where my voice volume was very low and I, let's say, I, I, I made the uh, acoustical background support myself. So I, um, I, I made some natural speech and also um, tried to uh, articulate uh, random phone names, like you know from those ghost boxes where, where, you, where these ghost boxes are, let's say, uh, talking rubbish and this rubbish is converted into some kind of PK uh, um, manifestation and spirit voices. Um, yeah, so um, the idea is to um, put one channel, or connect one channel to this device and um, put it at some distance um, from myself and the second microphone, this, uh, this one here, connected to the other channel, very close to my mouth. Um, everything, every kind of speech that is, uh, uh, has a high volume and is, uh, is um, spoken very uh, explicit and accurately will not contain any PK modulation. PK modulation only takes place when the voice is a low volume fraggle and is intermixed with noise. So that means on one channel we could record, let's say, the unaffected source and on the second channel 
the PK modulation. And by directly comparing those two channels in an audio editor like WavePad or, or Audacity, we can directly see, hopefully, we can directly see at, at what location the manifestation took place and how it took place. We can uh, actually, we could detect how the signal was changed and uh, how the amplitude was changed and maybe also how frequency would change. So this opens up um, a way to to do a research that goes deeper in the, let's say, the nuts and bolts uh, of the physical manifestation of spirit voices. And this is what I'm actually planning to do. And because the setup is very simple um, and I have all here um, I need to, to make this real, um, this is my idea and I want to do this now. Okay, so we're ready to start. Um, I decided to bring you the words of the Psalm 23 of David, because I found it very suitable. And I will directly talk now, and then my voice will be picked up by this microphone directly, and then by the in-clip at a distance of uh, roughly 80 centimeters setting uh, with a setting to the threshold um, just about triggering when my voice starts speaking. Okay, so now let's concentrate, calm down. I have set up the threshold of the inclip microphone to a level where it's just about to trigger, depending on the volume of my voice. My windows open so we get also some background noise on the outside. I think this is a perfect condition. And now we're going to start. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Okay, so now let's stop this and see if we've got something interesting. Okay, now I opened the file in Audacity. This is because NCH WavePad is not very good in splitting a recording, still recording into two separate mono tracks and to <coughs> manipulate them separately. So I'm doing this in Audacity. Okay, so let's go slowly through all the, uh, the recording and see if we can catch any anomalies. We'll start now. Uh, sorry, we need to start here. The Lord is my shepherd. Put a mark here. We call it incident one. <coughs> and it my son. Yeah, me in here again. Very clear. Yeah, me in yeah, 
see you again. Sounds like Alex. And I guess I remember this guy. I heard the name Alex frequently in the past. <clears throat> so let's make this incident two and go on. Righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are with me, the Lord of his death. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You are my digging deeper into incident number one and uh, I highlighted the region where the PK event took place okay and now we do the following we are muting this signal from the in clip just hearing the original sound the waters the waters the waters it's this obviously the waters and now let's hear the other channel this more sounds like du sagst this in German you said it the waters the waters cool now let's do the same with the uh, second incident. So maybe there are also two parts here, this one and this one, but let's start with this one here, this is very clear. Okay, now the original. He needs. He needs. He needs. He needs. He needs. This is very clear. He needs. He needs. He needs. This is original he source. Needs. And this is obviously something like Alex. Okay. Now again, let's highlight the whole sequence. This also seems like a PK modulation here to me. Okay, let's hear the original source. Path. 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 Okay. Very clear. This is different. I don't really understand what it is, but it's different. Could be Eva. He was. Or Arrow. But definitely. Path. Path. Different. I think this was pretty amazing. Um, first time in my life I could directly see how a PK modulation took place compared to the original source. Of course I, I have to do deeper investigations with the data material are now uh, gained. Uh, so this is just a start. But uh, principally the experimental setup uh, worked very nicely and um, I hope you are fascinated as I was well, as I am, and uh, please stay tuned until the next video. Thank you.